Okay, I think we're live. Yes, it says so. So, I believe it. Hello, everybody. Uh, let me know if the audio works. Uh, I'm using a microphone, which I'll introduce in a second. If I'm too far away, if I'm too echoey, let me know. Um, but hey, I'm Steve. Welcome to another Mac 84 live stream. And who knows how long this one's going to be. Um, let me rearrange my windows here so I'm not uh, crazy around here. There we go. There's a bit of an echo, but that's just how it is. <laughs> oh, Mike, thank you for, for telling me to be very prompt. Since when do I listen? All right, so let's get this situated here. You can see the top of my bench, yes. Ah, lousy description. Uh, let's see if I can fix a video description. It shouldn't say that, but sometimes, you know what? It just decides to because, yeah. Let's, let's see. Uh, all right, that should fix it. I know, I know. It's very rare seeing this wiped, but don't worry. All the stuff from here I just threw over somewhere else. So. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the title worked, but the the description text box was a little bleh. <laughs> yes. So is uh, is the audio clear? Hopefully it is. Maybe? Yes? No? Can you hear me? Can you not hear me? A bit low. Okay, so I can adjust the gain on this a little bit. Let me know if that helps. Is that too high? Is that too low? It is clear. Better? All right. If Jay is satisfied, then I know everyone else will be okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, move this around just a little bit so we don't take up so much screen space. So um, what we're doing today is... Uh, and I don't know how much we're actually going to get done because... The time we're starting at but we will try uh we're going to be looking at this this mac classic 2 um and, and i'll tell you a story about that but there's a few things i want to mention first uh first things first uh i spent the weekend uh at the uh, i believe it's the they, they changed the acronym on me so i believe it was the newton online web conference the no wonk or whatever you want to pronounce it and it was like seven and a half hour sessions, both Saturday and Sunday. And so that was a lot of fun. It was a, a video conference. Uh, I think the proceedings will be shared. I believe they were recorded. But it was all about the Apple Newton, you know, the, the PDA that Apple introduced in 1993 and then unfortunately killed off as soon as Steve Jobs stepped foot back in Apple. And uh, what's nice is there were so many, there were like 60 people on the stream. Uh, and there were people who developed for the system, people who worked on the original operating system, and, and all these types of people that were still diehard users of this software. Um, and what's nice is there were some guests we didn't expect. Steve Wozniak was there. Yes, that's Steve Wozniak. Um, Walt Mossberg popped in for a few minutes. You know, all these all these people were just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, there's a great film, if you haven't seen it, uh, called Love Notes to Newton, um, and it's it, it's uh, made, made in 2018 or 2019, uh, and it basically is about the creation of the Newton message pad, um, and goes into all the details about you know its development uh, and what happened afterwards, and it's a really great story because I didn't know much about this stuff, and I'm you know pretty into the vintage Apple stuff. Um, but I mentioned that for two reasons. One is you should go check out that film, Love Notes to Newton. Um, and yep, the, Jay has a link to it. Uh, I believe it's on, it was on a few streaming services. It was, it was either Showtime or HBO or one of those. If, if you if you Google it, you'll find it on, on Vimeo and um, and a few places. Anyway, it's, it's well worth the rent. You can actually go on their website and buy a VHS of it if you really want to watch it on, a, on a, an old TV. But anyway... Um, Check out that film. It's it's a great watch. Uh, and if you buy it on Vimeo, there are tons of bonus features, extra scenes and stuff, which is really cool. Second point I wanted to mention that is I had a press folder. Uh, and I don't have it with me. It's upstairs. Um, I had a Newton press folder. And as I as I talk and get the get the link to you, 
um, that I uh, acquired at the Trent Computer Festival in the early 2000s. And what was cool about this is it's this big purple folder and has the Newton logo right on the front of it. And what's nice is it was pretty much in brand new condition. There was no problems with it or anything, no, no missing pieces or anything. And this press folder had information about the Newton that was coming out. And it puts a date of all this stuff. It's, it was uh, July, I believe, 30th or 29th, 1993. So this is an old press folder. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the link because what I did is during those seven and a half hours every every day of that weekend, uh, I spent time scanning in that folder. So all of the goodies from that folder, all of the uh, press releases, documents. Uh, let's see where I can find the link here. Where did it go? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, huh? It's. Oh, you know what? I didn't upload it yet. It's on my it's on my Google Drive. Anyway, I'll put a I'll put a link to that uh, on my Twitter when it's done. I thought I uploaded it, but I remembered I wanted to do an OCR scan on that text. Anyway, uh, that press folder was really cool. I scanned in all the documents. I scanned in the slide transparencies. Uh, I still have to scan in the documents for that uh, uh, AV Technologies folder I I did a video on last year or so. But anyway, that's why I wanted to mention that. So. That was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Uh, I may have some Newton goodies coming my way soon. Uh, a message pads, you know, that's what they call those PDAs. So they'll be fun to play around with. I do have a message pad 2000, I have a message pad 130, and I have an email. So they'll be happy to join my collection. But uh, second thing I want to talk about before we get to this guy here is this microphone. And so the reason you are hopefully hearing me much, 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 much better is because of David here. So David Stahl here, um, he, he's in the chat with the big uh, Jaguar X on his logo. Uh, he did a giveaway for uh, 50 subscribers for his YouTube channel. And I submitted my name. Jay thinks it was rigged. It was not. And uh, I won this lovely microphone. So um, it's much better than that little stick Logitech microphone, which I'm sorry I was using for so long. Um, but if I, I will suggest something as, as Bruce did in the previous stream, um, David's channel is also going to run another contest. I believe it's when he hits uh, 500 subscribers and he's giving away another microphone. So if you like the way I sound, uh, I, I suggest go and go and, uh, sign up, go, go subscribe, watch his little video about it and, uh, learn the details of that. But, uh, David, if you want to post a comment in the chat of the link to that video or just say something, then you'll be able to click on David's name there and you'll be able to jump to that video and, and take a look, subscribe to his channel. He has some great videos on there which is nice. <laughs> uh, everyone's, everyone's saying, let it go, Jay, but, uh, but he's not. And, oh, there's a bunch of stream to catch up on here. Hold on. Sorry about that. A bunch of chats. More EEP ASMR opportunities arise. Yes. And, and this is for Trina. EEP. There we go. I owed you that from a few hours earlier. So, um, let's, uh, just, uh, wait for, let's see if David will pop a link in there to his, uh, to his channel, if not uh, someone who uh, else is there. Ah, okay, great. So David was here, looked like you might have signed off, but Jay posted a link there. So uh, uh, you just click on the House of Moth, uh, the link that uh, Jay posted there. Uh, that'll go right to where I was talking about. So thank you. And uh, you're very welcome, Trina. And so um, second thing, uh, second, third, fourth, whatever. I'm, I just have so many things going on here. Uh, how rare is a one gigahertz titanium power book? Uh, I don't think it's that rare. Hey, Bruce, welcome to the party. Um, but uh, David is here. Okay, great. So, yeah, Jay posted the link, David. So uh, go check out David's channel. You can click on his, I think it's the avatar or the uh, text in his, in his little uh, chat box there, and you'll be able to go to his channel. So thank you again, David. Very much appreciate it. Uh, I think everyone agrees I sound much better. Um, the other thing I want to mention is uh, Mike from MacYak has... Uh, a contest going on as well. <laughs> it seems like everybody's doing a contest. Uh, we have a MacBook that we're giving away on MacYak, and uh, you know, if you, if you, I'm sure all of you know what MacYak is. It's the podcast I'm on, on that I'm on every Thursday, Mac-Yak.com, or search for MacYak on YouTube. But anyway, Mike from Mike's Mac Shack is doing a giveaway, and this giveaway is actually quite close to my heart because of a few things. First off. Um, Go to Mike's channel. He did a video about the giveaway. Now you have to follow the rules. Otherwise you won't get it. Uh, so Mike, if you want to paste a chat in there uh, while I'm talking, 
then a link rather a link in the chat see it's late i can't even speak if you want to post a link in the chat mike uh then the lovely 19 people that are watching uh, will get a chance to look at that uh you have to subscribe to his channel so if you are not subscribed already please subscribe to mike's mac yet mike mike's mac shack wow and uh click on the link there and uh you'll be able to watch the video where he gives the details about that giveaway now what is he giving away well you'll watch the video for the details of that however He's giving away an iBook G4, and why that machine is quite special to me is because I used to own it. <laughs> so it, it was previously in my possession. It was It's a great little iBook. Um, it, it's very quick. It's very sturdy. It's in great condition. The screen's nice and bright. Um, I, just, I just didn't need the iBook anymore, and so Mike came over and uh, gave me some iMac G3s a while back, and, and you saw some pictures of that, I'm sure, on my Twitter or my Instagram. And, uh, you know, part of the exchange was I gave him a, a Mac Pro and uh, gave him an iBook. So uh, that iBook has been running well. The battery, I think, lasts something crazy, like two and a half hours or something like that. It's, it's a great condition laptop. Um, and it runs OS 9, OS 10. And it's, uh, I believe it's a one gigahertz G4 model. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that's... Uh, yeah, my skin cells are on that iBook. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, go to Mike's Mac Shack, check out that video, uh, check out how you could win an iBook G4 because they're really stable machines and that's really a good bridge machine to have. It'll run OS 9, it'll run OS 10. You could run a version of OS 10 that supports Apple Talk so you could network to some old Macs on it. Has Wi-Fi built in, has Ethernet. You know, it's not a bad machine at all to have. If you don't have a Power Mac, or uh, one of those desktop Macs that take up a lot of space. This thing is 12 inches, it's very compact. Uh, I have a, a similar 12 inch power book that I love because if it's so, you know, it's so small, you can really take it anywhere. So highly suggest you check that out. Uh, go, to, go to his channel, check out how you could win that. And uh, oh, he's posting the specs there in the chat, 1.07 gigahertz, 1.25 gigabytes of RAM. That's much more than he had when I gave it to him. Uh, 30 gigabyte hard drive and a CD burner. So there you go. So, yep, that's one of the Snow White iBooks, and uh, they're pretty awesome. Uh, David says, uh, it's, it's, uh, da, da, da. I sent you the message on the back of it. You sent me a message on the back of the microphone? <laughs> or a package? Oh, the box is upstairs. Um, you did give me some, you get, did give me two pieces of paper. Where did I put that box? Did I move it? Upstairs? Is that what you're? T is that what you mean? I think I put the box in the attic already. <laughs> Sorry, David. I don't. I don't have the. I don't have the the box in front of me. I I uh, I brought the microphone down, but I didn't bring down the box. But uh, I'll tweet out a picture of it. How about that, David? And I'll tweet out uh, a link to your giveaway as well as Mike's, so more people will get to understand that. But it was very nice of you. Thank you very much, and I appreciate the long USB cord because it's quite a way down to the desk to the computer. So, at least it's something, right? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, what we're looking at today is this Mac Classic 2. Now, um, let me bring the camera a little bit closer here. So, I don't really have too, uh, too much experience with uh, these compact Macs. Um, well, let me rephrase that. Not the Classic 2. The Classic I do. I have a, a Classic Mac that... Uh, I famously took a part here on a live stream that took forever. Uh, <laughs> if I gave this away, I don't think anybody would want it, and I'll explain why. So a few years ago, well, gosh, it's, it's more years ago than I'm willing to admit, um, I went to uh, repair uh, a, an exhibit at a museum that was running off of this little guy. And you'll see that this machine has a number four on the top of it. And the reason why is they had four of these machines over the lifespan of this exhibit that was running that exhibit. And that exhibit was uh, at the Liberty Science Center uh, in New Jersey. And um, that exhibit was running this little uh, sensor that basically measured your height and it told you how tall you were with the voice. So pretty neat stuff. Um, but the problem is these things were running <laughs> nonstop for, uh, gosh, probably... 15, 20 years, something like that, something crazy like that. And uh, what had happened is, of course, that the caps leak or something happened and the machines just slowly kept dying one after the other. And they had four of them. So this was the fourth one to go. And yeah, so some of them have terrible burn-in. 
Um, this one, it's hard to tell. Uh, I'm going to look it up to the light. I don't think this one's too bad. But um, I, my, uh, you know, I, I had someone that I knew that worked there, so I didn't really get paid for the job. But my payment was all four of these computers. Uh, so they were, uh, I believe two of them were Classic 2s and two of them were Classics. And so uh, I have, uh, you know, the, the shells are in the garage. This was one of the better shells, so I brought them in after uh, when I was doing one of those garage streams. Um, and so, you know, when I went there, uh, I set them up with a PowerBook uh, 1400. And uh, unfortunately, the laptop, the uh, laptop's hard drive died. <laughs> So um, I wasn't uh, I wasn't planning on that. I thought it would last a little longer, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the exhibit needed another computer. And so what I did is I gave them a Centra 650, and that's what's running the exhibit now. Uh, but I do have to ask that back to get it recapped because I, I don't want them uh, running that machine. I, I also uh, I think there might be a way to emulate the software they're using. It's very simple. Uh, they just use a serial port to connect to the the sensor interface. So might be able to do a Raspberry Pi or something like that. Use a USB to serial adapter. I'd really like my vintage Mac back. Uh, not that I need a 650. I have one somewhere. Uh, but I know that one worked. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, uh, anyway. Um, I got these machines as payments for sort of fixing uh, that. And so, all of these had issues. Uh, this one worked to an extent where I was able to pull the data off of the hard drive. Um, onto a PowerBook and was able to recover the software because they didn't even have a copy of the software that was running for this exhibit. So I've told this story a few times, so forgive me if you're hearing it for the eighth time. But um, so what I did after I got these machines home is I took out the um, internal hard drive, I took out the floppy drive, um, and uh, put those in a bin. So those are actually scattered on the parts shelf over there. Um, but I also took out the logic boards. So right in this machine now is, is likely just the CRT. Um, all of them, uh, the screws are pretty loose on here. Um, yeah, so there's there's no board in here. But uh, let's, let's actually look. Uh, let, let's see if we can read uh, what the top says. Oh, of course, my window is a little screwed up. Let's fix that. So the top reads, working, low volume out issue. As we know from watching Bruce's streams, that's a capacitor issue, most likely. Uh, and then, uh, doesn't turn on. That was on... Uh, oh, so first off, it says dead on May 15th, 2012. So that tells you when I was work when I shortly before I worked on this. And it says, doesn't turn on May 23rd, 2012. So there's some notes on here to, to remind me of which one it is. Uh, and it's overall, it's not in terrible condition. I mean, obviously, uh, it was being used heavily. But... Um, now there's your normal nicks on the side and stuff like that and yeah it, it could use a very good cleaning but uh, we're gonna focus on the logic boards today but uh, let me let me see if I could open this up I don't think any of the screws are still in there no and I want to make sure nothing's left inside of here yes yes so it could be multiple oh that's I put a piece of tape here because uh, this machine Actually, did I cut that already? Yeah, I did. Uh, this uh, was sort of sliding open. So let's see if we can open this. Pretty sure the screws are removed. Let me use my flashlight because maybe they're not. Yep, they're removed and we got none over there. Okay, so let's try that again. In this case, is, is already not in the best shape, so I'm not going to be too upset if uh, I get any more scratches or scuffs on it but uh, let me move some of these parts out of the way here yeah these these are not fun to open I mean this one has no screws in it and it's it's still giving me some trouble but let me, let me actually stand up here because I'm getting a bad uh, a bad angle there just trying to there we go. Much better. Yeah, the ones that have never been opened before are much more difficult to open up. After you've uh, gotten them open a few times, they're much easier. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to use my nails and just nudge it. Actually, I have... Um, hold on one second. 
have something here. This little automotive tool that is helpful. And so at the bottom here, there's, there's not really, the plastic is stronger there. So there we go. Whenever I try and do this on stream, it takes me forever. Whenever I do this off camera, it's like one, two, three. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to intentionally damage it more, but there it goes. It's it's just, uh, it's just, uh. the left side wants to give, the right side, the, the right side wants to give, the left side not as much. You could really hear my grunting on this new microphone, I'm sure, so that's a, that's a plus. I should have titled this stream, Man Struggles with Macintosh Classic. That'll get all the likes. Yeah, it's just stubborn in there. It's coming. Yeah, see this this side here is yes, Jay. Thanks. <laughs> it's actually the uh, there we go. Yeah, I got it. It's so this there's nothing in here. This is so light that this was where all the weight was. So I was trying to get this edge up because everything else was coming out. So. All right, so I'm gonna carefully pull that out. Now this has not been discharged or anything. So I just gotta be very careful about what I touch inside. There we go. And what do we got? We got a screw rolling around in there. Okay, not too bad. All right, so this is the inside of our Macintosh Classic. Ah, those of you who have not seen the inside of a Macintosh Classic before, well, there you go. <sighs> so it's not too bad inside because I, I dusted this off a while back. Um, I believe everything else worked except uh, the logic board. Uh, I have not powered this up in, I don't think I've powered this up since 2012 or 2013 or 2014. It's been a long time um, because I believe when I took out the uh, the hard drive and the floppy drive, I didn't even bother to power them on because I was just taking the logic boards out. But this is going to be the least of our concerns for today. <laughs> Wait until you see what the logic board looks like because this looks pretty tame. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to put this snugly back on there. I'm just going to cover this up. So just so I don't touch anything, I'm just going to move this off to the side of the room. Okay. And we're going to get our patented uh, soldering board out here. And we're going to get the microscope ready because uh, these, uh, these are going to be fun to look at. Let's put our very fancy old MacBook batteries as anchors there. No need to worry about the charge, no need to discharge. Okay, well, that is good to know, Bruce, because I don't know, I don't think I've had my uh, discharge tool made, actually. And by saying I don't think, that it means I actually don't. So uh, let's look at some things here. So we have a, a classic, where's the classic one board? Hold on. Uh, this is this is a board from a, a classic, just a regular classic. And so let me take this little memory expansion board out. So this isn't too bad. So if you take a look at this board here, um, you, you, obviously it, it needs recapping. It needs this capacitors replaced. But I, I'm not seeing too much leakage or anything too terrible. Really, really I'm not. Um, so this, this one doesn't concern me as much. However, you'll probably see where I'm going with this. Um, the, the classic two is, is a much worse scenario there. So let me show you, uh, the better of the boards. So this is a classic two board. Now, first thing you'll probably notice is there's a little, uh, blue wire here that runs from this chip here all the way through to this chip here. Now, 
that's that's what starts us off first off. Um, now, you're not going to be able to see the details here, but let me show you under this microscope because it ain't pretty. So let's get this situated here. Let me uh, let me uh, make sure that this is focused to a degree where we could actually take a look at some things. And let me uh, get a big screen here so I can actually see what I'm looking at because uh, it's no fun if I can't see what you're seeing. So we're dialing in the focus there. All right, and so let's take a look. And let, wait, let me make sure I have this uh, situated. So right side is up. No, it's not. Of course not. There we go. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so let's take a look at the board here. And we're, we're shaking a bit because we are shaking. Sorry about that. And so the first thing I'm going to look at is these capacitors in the back. And look at this, this group right here. That just, ugh. <laughs> bit of scunge, huh, Bruce? That's, uh, <laughs> that's not exactly a, a clean-looking board. Um, now, the board is this greenish-brownish color, which doesn't help. But, you know, that's, that's four capacitors there. And then it gets a little worse. Over here, we have another four capacitors. And look at that. Look at the feet on those chips just just look look how horrible this looks that's why in the <laughs> in the uh in the description there i said i don't know if this is salvageable <laughs> because ugh. now yeah so so th i mean this machine was on for god knows how long uh i did take the boards out they were not in the garage so at least you know the boards have been taken out but you know, after the machine stopped working, they just basically unplugged it and left, let it sit there. So who knows how long this, this goo has been on these boards. Because obviously they stopped working enough for them to switch machines. <laughs> That'll buff right out, says Jay. <laughs> so that's pretty bad there. And then if we look at the capacitors, we follow, follow the blue line here. Boop, 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 uh, we see it's it's wired to this chip here. Left of C9. Oh boy, let's let's look at that. So we are at C9. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is lovely. Yeah. So um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let me let me show you over here. And now remember, guys. I said this was the better looking board. I did say that. This is the better looking board of the bunch. Um, now we have more capacitors over here, which look lovely. Just look at that. That is just, that is just lovely, isn't it? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if these things, these components would just fall off the board with some heat applied to it, because that's the way it looks, to be honest. Um, of course, other than those areas of the capacitors, it doesn't look terrible but <laughs> where it is terrible is absolutely horrible uh yeah so this this unfortunately is uh, what i'm looking at to try and make a classic two part of my collection <laughs> because yeah it's just horrible now again this was the better board let's take a look at, at the other one so here's the other board let's let's take a look at uh our, our good bunch of caps by C9 over here. Let's let's take a look at that. Ugh. I think that looks worse. What do you think? Oof. What what do you think about that? I think that looks worse. And then this board actually has an additional capacitor, which unfortunately is not in the best spot because right there it's starting to make some fun over there uh, i wish i did jay i don't have an ultrasonic cleaner um these boards might see their way to you jay if you're not careful but yeah so look at that now this isn't the worst part i i really wish it was but unfortunately let's take a look 
by the, uh, the, the top corner here. And uh, for those of you who are a bit squeamish, I would look away from the camera now. Look at that. <laughs> that looks horrible, doesn't it? That looks absolutely caked with beautiful, beautiful capacitor li liquid. Ugh. Yeah. So that doesn't look too good. And of course, that little happy cap there has spread its joy to the little chip there. And if we go a bit south and west, we see the capacitors have spread their joy over here. So there's some heavy duty corrosion and, and goo all over this board. I honestly don't know if I have the skills to attack this. Um, <laughs> so I, I wanted to show this board actually while, while I look at it more and more, it looks like it, it may not be something that I could fix here now and it may be better to, to clean it before I even attempt to do anything because it looks so horrible. Um, but I do have um, the color, the, I'm sorry, not the color, but I do have the, the classic board, the classic one board here, which, you know, by comparison, looks perfectly fine. And this board actually works. There's nothing uh, that I noticed about this board that was faulty. Uh, this board is dirty, it needs some new caps, but it does work. Uh, so, you know, that's not too bad. So, oh, here I am shaking around things. But yeah, this is this is what I was most concerned about is is this classic two board here. So, seizure inducing corrosion, a, dis, a dangerous disorder in vintage Mac repair technicians. Yeah, uh, I I would say this this is probably one of the worst boards I've seen, uh, shy of the boards that have had just straight up battery explosions and leakage on them. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so I, I I don't know um, there there's a, a a few hesitations of me actually trying anything on this board because I think I'm just gonna be ripping pads off left and right and even if I do uh, get the caps off I'm gonna have to clean this thing but um, let, let's put it to a vote how about this so we have two bad classic two boards on here and then we have our regular classic board that we know functions. I will admit that if we do any of the classic two boards, what I will probably end up doing is taking the caps off and then waiting uh, for another stream to finish it up. If we do the classic one board, that is probably also likely the scenario, but there'll be less cleanup involved. So Jay votes for the bad board. Now, Bruce is probably getting a, a vomit bag there and, uh, you know, just making sure that he expels all of his... his uh, bad uh, fluids there before watching anymore because it's uh, it's pretty yucky um i mean honestly look the board doesn't work i have two of them here uh i'm gonna try the the one that's worse off and so if i screw up or anything i feel less bad about it because in my mind it's it's pretty much it's it's gone anyway <laughs> a lot of you oh you, you just want to see me punished you're going for the bad board Ooh. I guess I guess that's something we'll have to consider then. But look, oh, geez, look at look look over by our little processor here. We got uh, what is that there? We got is that is that just hair? Yeah, that's just that's just like dust and hair and ugh, horrible stuff. So yeah, I guess I guess we we'll, we may have to uh, we may have to do this one. But uh, that's the thing, when uh, when these boards have their capacitors leak, every amount of little dust and hair just, just sticks to everything. So you'll see that especially, you, you'll see it with visible with your naked eye, but you'll especially see it directly around the capacitors here. You see all the little pieces of hair and dust and everything. It just sticks to it. And that's, that's what's there. It's just going to stick to it. So it looks awful. It looks absolutely awful. In fact, if we have a, I don't think we have a direct comparison now because the caps are in a different place, but yeah. But it is interesting that this uh, this classic two board actually has a uh, an additional capacitor than uh, the other board here. There's an additional capacitor by this VLSI chip, uh, which is interesting. Let me see if there's a date on these boards here. I will be taking a picture of these serial labels because uh, 
unfortunately, they, they may come off as we're trying to fix it. But, uh, dirty board! Dirty, dirty! All right, let's, uh, let me just take a picture of a few of these things here. Okay, let's get this one here. <laughs> so the question was, Bruce, uh, I was I was trying to set up myself for some easy work by saying, oh, well, let's put it to a vote. Who wants to do the, the classic one board, which works? Or who wants to try and fix the classic two board? And of course, everybody voted for the classic two board. So we, we were just teasing that uh, you were probably so sickened by the side of this. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, I do not have the ability to uh, to clean these really to a degree. I, I do have a toothbrush and some alcohol and I'll, I'll do that, but I don't have an ultrasonic cleaner. I, I just noticed a big difference in these boards though. Let me, let me, let me show you here. And uh, let me, let me see if, if this will actually cooperate here. If I, uh, if I zoom out. Yeah. So you'll, you'll notice that this classic two board here has two ROM chips. Yeah, so I'm guessing that, Bruce. I'm guessing this there's there's a revision A and a revision B. So these have a date of 1991 uh, on the ROM chips there. And then this has four ROM chips instead of two. So I'm, I'm assuming this this is maybe the older revision. Because uh, that would have maybe was a cost-reducing measure to uh, to put two, uh, uh, you know, put the bigger ROM, uh, bigger ROMs there. Uh, let, me, let me see if, uh, if I get... Uh, the other camera going here. There we go. So if we take a look here, we have two boards. And so the top one has four ROM chips, the bottom one has two. And uh, there is a, a difference of a few capacitors. This one actually has more. So Bruce says 17 on that one. Bathe them in IPA, light scrub, clean them right up. I've seen much worse. All right, well, uh, what I will do is... Uh, see, unfortunately, with this whole pandemic going around, uh, my supplies are limited. I have this little guy of alcohol. It's about more than halfway done here. This is only 16 ounces. So I guess I only have about eight, eight ounces left of this. So... Yeah, I mean, I do have a, a thing of distilled water, and I do have some um, white vinegar, but uh, I would be more comfortable just using the alcohol. I know the vinegar can corrode things even worse. Uh, but what I will do is uh, I will take a toothbrush to it, and I will try and gently clean this off, because it looks like we're going to go with one of the bad boards, because why give me anything easy? And, you know, I'll spend a good 45 minutes to an hour on it, and uh, we'll see where we get. And we'll reassess the situation when we get there. But, um, yeah, I mean, either way, um, both of these boards are, are not a functional shape right now. So, uh, I thought vinegar removed corrosion. Um, I have to check with somebody on that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, honestly, I, I don't know. Um, I've heard that it could do some bad things if left on there. Uh, I wouldn't leave it on there too long, of course, but, yeah. So, okay. Yep, both of these uh, actually have different uh, different uh, revisions on there. So let me let me uh, take a picture of this side too. So one of the boards is eight two zero dash o three six two. I'm sorry, o three two six b, and that's the one with the two ROM chips. So that'll be a revision two board, I'm guessing, and. Um, the other board is 820-0401-A. So that may be a revision A, revision B. Uh, vinegar cleans really well, but needs to be cleaned really well as it starts affecting solder pretty quickly. Define pretty quickly. Just curious. As you reply to that, I am going to put the, uh, the uh, classic one board back where it belongs. So I don't mix it up. Just get up and do that. And take some of these other things that were just sitting here too. 
so I have some more space to work with. Well, stop the presses, folks, because we have we have a late entry. We have a late entry into the mix here. Here is the other board from the uh, the other color classic. I'm sorry, I keep saying color classic. The other classic, and uh, this is pretty bad too. Let me get this under the uh, the microscope because oof. Yeah, this this. Might not be as bad as the, the other, but I, I want to show you this real quick. Hold on. All right, so let's uh, let's get this down here. Uh, it would be a classic too because the uh, the little uh, expansion slot is different. So this 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 one here is a is a classic. That's the easy way to tell it apart. Is that expansion slot? Although it looks very familiar, there are different pins there, different purposes. So let's let's try and focus that. All right. So this is a classic one, and let's take a look. Let's take a look here at these caps. Ooh. And look at that. Look at look at that just just melted and eaten away there. That little black component there, the dead center of the screen. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Oh, that is pretty bad. And then we, we look over here. This has this this has seen much better days. Look at that, just oh. And then over here, that is just awful. So, yeah, this this is going to be needing fixing too. Um, there must be another board somewhere. Because this accounts for three. I must have one more somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Uh, no, I have not tried uh, doing the dishwasher with any of these. Uh, I am actually concerned at this point that it would be too rough on them. And they could lose components. What I do want to do then is, is I'm going to take off these capacitors. And uh, then we will do a, a good cleaning of the board. Uh, I will clean a little bit before we get started, just so I could, you know, get uh, some heat to the solder that's uh, below these little locations where the pads are. But yeah, I mean these 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 do not work the way they are, um, and those capacitors need to go. They need to go. So we're gonna try off here. I guess the first one we'll do is our uh, later revision classic two, because I think that. That's the worst of them all. I, I think so. And we're, we're just going to go from there. I mean, that's the only, the only thing we can do, huh? So, let me uh, get set here. Any questions or anything? Well, we uh, hopefully, hopefully you don't pick up the, the fan noise. There's a little fan here that helps blow some of the the bad fumes that I may breathe in away from me. So, so I'm just going to get uh, some of my tools handy. Did my flux fall on the floor again? It may have. It may have. Yes, it did. There it is. Okay, what's the rarest spec tie book? I, I really don't know raw elements. Uh, I only have uh, three titanium power books and uh, only, I'd say one and a half of them work. Uh, and they are the very early ones. Uh, so they are the 666 megahertz or 667, I think one's the 800 or whatever. One of them's the DVI one, one of them's the earlier VGA one. And those are the only titanium power books I have, so I, I really don't know what the rarest one is or what the value is. 
people ask me that stuff a lot, and I, I just really don't know. Um, so, yeah. Well, because one has a bad screen, so the logic board works fine, but the screen doesn't. Now, I do have one of those bookends docks, so I could actually have the machine docked, and it would work fine, but the screen needs a replacement. Or at least the inverter does. There, there was something wrong in that area. So, Okay, so, um, oh boy, it's been a while. It's been a while, so let's uh, make sure our wires aren't tangled here. And I might actually not use the hot air station here. Uh, everyone needs to go to Mac. It oh, Trina, that's very, very kind. <laughs> yes, uh, I think I could use. <laughs> I, I think uh, the next purchase I will be making once I can afford it uh, is an ultrasonic cleaner because, oh boy. They, they are pricey, but I've seen the work that, that Bruce and Jay have done, and they, the boards in there, just they come out looking fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. And, you know, for a board of this size, you know, something that's, that's small like this, I, I don't need that big of an ultrasonic cleaner for it. But, you know, they're, they're still very pricey. So, um, anything, uh, whether it's a, a Super Chat, or, although I honestly do prefer Patreon, even... Hey, even if you, you sign up for a month at a dollar and then you, you quit after two months or so, uh, I, I actually get more of a percentage than I do from YouTube. So don't don't tell YouTube that. But uh, yeah, so uh, I, I very much do appreciate any way you choose to support me, whether it's just liking a video, sharing it, or uh, giving me a chat or uh, uh, a super chat or a sticker or something like that. Or if you do support me on Patreon, uh, I'm not like other content creators. I do have a tier that's only a dollar. And you get pretty much everything except uh, the higher tier goodies on that. Uh, so you do get early release videos and stuff like that. I, I try and and make sure that uh, even the smallest contributions are appreciated. But uh, yeah, I actually do have to set a new goal on that, uh, Jay. So I will I will be posting some details. I'll probably edit my my goal on Patreon or whatever. But uh, yeah, so let's let's take a, a look at this board. Um, see what we could what we could do with it. I. I don't know if I want to take the hot air gun to this. <laughs> that might fly off some other components here, but um, let, let's take a let's take a closer look here. Uh, where did my little toothbrush go? Here we go. And I need uh, one of those little cups that I always have lying around here to put the uh, the, the isopropyl alcohol in. There we go. So let me actually uh, have, have some some toilet tissue here. Let me use that for a second. Okay. Just uh, make sure we don't have any gunk in that little cup because sometimes I put old capacitors in there and stuff. But uh, hope this is enjoyable and going to be entertaining for you guys. <laughs> If you see any popping capacitors, well, they'll be sure entertaining for you, and I'm going to scream like a little girl. But that's all part of the fun, I guess. Fun for you guys. All right, so I think what I have to do is I think I have to, and, and Jay and Bruce and anybody else, feel free to tell me how superior your knowledge is. Uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit with disopropyl alcohol before I even try and desolder some of these because I don't think I can even get to the uh, the pads there, <laughs> no matter how much I try. I don't think I, I, think I, I, don't think I, could, I could make a dent where those pads are. Uh, yeah, I was, just, I, was, I was just saying that uh, you and Bruce uh, probably... Uh, have done this more than I have, but on a board that's that's so caked like this with the uh, crud all around it, uh, should I should I use some IPA to clean that area up before I try and uh, get those caps off? I'm assuming that would be the best course of action to just give myself a cleaner cleaner state. Well, also this camera sucks. <laughs> this little microscope camera is reflecting light. This board is actually green. It's not that orange. Okay, yeah, I can let it soak for a bit. 
while I do, I'm just looking for my uh, little cotton buds here. They fell off to the side. There we go. Okay, so now, now we are we are ready. So what I'm going to do is we'll we'll work in the. I think this is one of the worst areas here. You, that's my that's my my pointer finger there. You can just see how concentrated this area is. So I'm going to liberally apply. I can't even speak today. I'm going to apply a lot of this IPA in this area. Just let it soak in there for a bit. And we'll let we'll let just let that sit. I'm going to turn that fan away so it doesn't blow all that off there. We don't need that on right now anyway. But oof, that's here. Let's let's see if we get that this a little bit centered here a little bit better. Uh, IPA, IPA is just an abbreviation for isopropyl alcohol. So uh, that's uh, as this stuff. Unfortunately, you know, with the pandemic and everything, there is a there's a it's harder to get your hands on that. And uh, just my luck, right before that all happened, I thought, oh, let me go to the store and pick some up. And of course, there was none. So, yeah. All right. So let's. Uh, while that's sitting, I'm just I'm just gonna gently. Not not scrape, but I'm just just seeing if I get any like the hair. Ugh, yeah, it's all all these little yucky bits that are just sitting around here. I mean, my basement isn't the cleanest, so it could definitely be, you know, bunny hair or my hair <laughs> or whatever on the board. But the, whatever's on there is actually more likely. Uh, just been sitting there for ages and ages. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just apply a little bit more there because this is such a problematic area, and I'm, I'm just gonna scrub gently to sort of agitate that area, and then uh, I guess we'll we'll try uh, we'll try the heat gun. That might be a little too much for it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, all things considered with some of the horrible things that are going on right now, uh, if I have to wait to do a silly live stream to get some more isopropyl alcohol, uh, that is all well and good with me. Obviously, there are much more pressing matters uh, and much more hardships that are going on out there that are terrible and uh, so I don't mean to make light of that in any way but look if, if my uh, shipment of cookies or whatever is coming my way is delayed or I don't have the tools I need to do a recapping right away it's totally fine with me could be much worse right, so let that soak for a second let me see I'm just looking for something around my feet here where did it put it did it put it over there no. Yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, uh, Jeff. I'm not gonna solder anything onto this uh, tonight or anytime soon. I, I'm just trying to get all the bag caps off. Uh, then we'll we'll need to do a much better, deeper cleaning before we could consider putting anything back on the board because this is just in very rough shape. Very, very, very rough shape. All right, so I'm gonna take my watch off so I don't end up scratching it or anything like that. And uh, yeah, let me let me gently start massaging this area here to see if I could get any flakes of this gunk off from this area. I don't want to move these caps too much because. I mean, they're on there. They're not. They're 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 on there pretty solvent, but <laughs> I don't want to, don't want to uh, agitate them any further than I have to. Just just the surrounding area. Just yeah. Just loosely brushing that. Area. Uh, I believe the name of the conference was the conference was N O W C. I don't believe the materials have been made available just yet. 
Uh, once they are, I will tweet them out. So if you do follow me on Twitter, Mac84TV is my handle, Mac84TV as in television. Uh, I will send out a link to them as soon as they are available. Uh, it's seven and a half hours of footage. I think they're cutting it down. They're trying to cut it down to per, per presenter. Uh, that will likely take them a while. It's all volunteers. So, you know, everyone has their day job, of course. Um, but uh, I believe those presentations will be available sometime fairly soon. All right. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, find my tweezers. Jeez, oh, I'm just an unorganized mess today, aren't I? Uh Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh oh. Konnichiwa. Hello. Thank you for joining. Well, over here it's it's pretty late, so konbanwa. But uh, let me try and find my tweezers. I can't do much without those. Uh, these are the crummy tweezers. I don't want those. I want the good ones. Where did I put them? Ah. Okay, Trina, no worries. Uh, I bet you those tweezers are right under this thing that is on the side table here. Maybe. Oop, it's me hitting the camera. Uh. See? I change around my setup and I, you know, move things around so often that, unfortunately, I, I often misplace parts. So, let me just stretch over here, see if those tweezers are in this bin. So, for those of you just joining, we're, we're going to remove the old capacitors from this uh, Macintosh Classic 2 logic board. And that's what we're focusing on right now. Let me just see if I put them over here. Sometimes I do silly things. I move things around quickly. I forget where I put them. And I don't recall if I was actually using them on the last stream where I was playing around with that MacBook Air. Because I can't remember, to be honest with you. So I'm just checking here. See if I put them over here. No. Ah. Oh, thank you, Royal Elements. Well, you're probably talking to Trina, actually. <laughs> you won't wait for me to find my tools, because I'm a fool. Uh, let's see. Did I put them in a little tool drawer here? Ah. Well, you know what? We'll just... Uh, I guess we'll do our best without them. I do have this this other pair that's not as good, but in a pinch, get it? Pinch? In a pinch, uh, it may work. So, all right. I guess we'll we'll just uh, continue as much as we can. Let me just check one more time. I'm not overseeing it, overlooking it rather. Again, I can't speak tonight, so this is not good. Okay. Well, thank you. So, uh, I I always uh, appreciate comments. I'm glad you enjoyed watching. Okay, so uh, I will uh, do the best I can here. So let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And uh, with my luck, when we're halfway through this, then I'll find my good tweezers. How about that? And we'll celebrate. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the hot air station here. And uh, I'm actually going to put these goggles on. <laughs> because I have a feeling that these capacitors will be poppers. So let's put those on. And I, I look a bit silly, but you know what? I don't want uh, hot cap juice in my eyes, so. All right, so let this heat up. Oh, what am I doing? There's no flux. Oh, Steven. See, I haven't done this in a while and I forget so easily. So easily. So easily.
See, the problem is I had that uh, little sign on my iMac G3 that says don't forget the flux. And there's a monitor in front of that sign. So I didn't read it. I didn't read Bruce's sage advice. Now, I can't even hold this, this sponger here correctly. There we go. Use quite a good amount on here because I think we'll need it. And it's still coming out, so I'll just put some over here. Probably order a smaller one next time, but well, I mean considering there was none on there before, but make sure it's around the pads where we will be touching. Actually, I could use a bit more there. Never have too much flux. All right, let's take two. <laughs> good, Trina missed the mistake, so we're all good. That first one came off without uh, uh, too much trouble. Now, I just want to take a closer look at this. It, from the microscope, it looks horrible because of all the reflection that's going on here. But uh, there we go. That that's a bit more like what I'm seeing. But yeah, that's you know honestly, with the cap off there, it's not too bad. I don't think. But uh, we will see as we go along here. Who knows what, what's lurking. Just adjusting the temperature. I, I set it a little bit down. But uh, all right, let's uh, continue here. That one came off too. That one came off as well. Uh, this big one, let's uh, put a little more flux by this big one here. Oop, that might pop. I'll just get out of the board. Come on.
There we go. Okay, it, 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 uh, that was the one I was afraid of. All right, so, you know what? It doesn't look totally bad here. But I feel much better having them off of the board than on. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> much better. So, we have some more over here. Ooh, did I singe that pretty good? No, I don't think so. What am I looking at here? Uh, here. No, that looks okay. Alright, good. So, uh, chip moves a little. Well, let me take off these ridiculous goggles. Take a better look here. Which chip, uh, you said moved? Chip moves a little? There's quite a, bu a, bun a bunch here, so. <laughs> think uh, any of these are going anywhere which is good but. all right so um, we'll move on to the cluster to the left here Oop. if I get this board over enough up oh, too far there we go um you know I don't think I'm that adventurous right now to take off those chips I'd likely want my better pair of tweezers with me but tonight, let's focus on getting the caps off, and I'm, I'm sure that even if we recap this thing, even after it's cleaned, it's not going to work, work right away. So, I've never really taken chips off, so that'll be a first. <laughs> because I, I do not doubt that there's probably some lovely gunk under, you know, these, these areas here. Because, look at that. That's just very telling. Uh, especially in areas like this I'm sure there's some nastiness under so that'll be fun that'll be so much fun so there's always something new to learn I'm not an expert of this by any means of the imagination so yeah all right so let's keep the party going on here let's uh, move over here now there is a bit of plastic here and so what I want to do there is where did I put my little spacers I have a little um, a little razor blade here that I usually put there but uh, no worries Matt take it easy man see you later that is very true Jay I, I will I will naturally progress to where I need to be to get this board working hopefully and um, yeah where did I put those little spacers there Just need to be better organized as so I come over to my desk and I just throw everything around but uh, yeah we, we don't want to uh, we don't want to get heat around those plastic buttons there so we got some little metal spacers here some over here hold on I just saw one okay, it might be uh, this little bin here uh, no oh here here it is it's just blending in that should be enough for us Okay, great. So, what I'm going to do is just take this uh, this little razor here. We're just going to place it right there. So, any of the heat from the hot air gun does not necessarily touch that as much as it, as it may have before. So, hopefully, that is good enough. We'll add... Uh, some flux around that to help suggest that these capacitors should get lost. Oh, 
All right. Okay, and uh, we will try this again. Look at that, double prizes. We got both off at the same time. They were sort of connected to each other. It's sort of weird. All right, let's try these two. Oop. They're letting out some magic smoke. Yeah, see these tweezers suck. I can't even I can't even grip with them. Let me try these pliers. They might be a little better. There we go. Hello, Cody. All right, so. Yeah, it's not too shabby. And uh, we have, we have one more, one more uh, here. Let's try and get that off while our, while our hot air gun is still hot. Thank you, Cody. That's right. Last time you uh, you happily joined my Patreon, and I appreciate it. There, there's quite a, a bit of videos on there that um, are in various states of being worked on. So, uh, for any of those of you who are new patrons, like Cody, uh, you can check those out. But I appreciate that. You also get some behind-the-scenes updates and some other cool stuff too. Whoop, that, that popped. All right. So we have uh, nine caps that we removed off the board. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, we still got eight more to go. So let's see if we can just keep moving right along here. These are going to be more difficult. Oh, boy, this is going to be difficult. Because, uh, yeah, right uh, next to the battery, there's this one here. And it's right there. Right, right between this, this mound of plastic on both sides. No matter what, I think that's going to get pretty cooked. Let, let me see if... Uh, Sometimes what you could do is, uh, let's see. That one just cut away there. So, yeah, I, I could disconnect the, the battery. What, what I'm going to try and do, I'm, I just have to get close to this with my eyes, so uh, you may not directly see this, but... I'm going to try and use a soldering iron to uh, to remove this one. Just getting that ready. Thankfully it's a small one, so it might be doable. Yep, I flexed it. And 
and uh, let me just put some old, some new solder by the old solder to try and suggest that it get out of the way. Sorry, I know you really can't see anything at this second, but. This might not even be possible. <laughs> I'm going to watch, listen to this as I fall asleep. Well, I. <laughs> Good night, David. Well, I, I hope that uh, my voice is, is soothing somewhat. You wouldn't want to fall asleep to anything that was not. So I guess that's a compliment. Just gonna try a little bit of heat. Oh, that's definitely not gonna work. Oh boy, this is gonna be a pickle. <laughs> a nerdy meditation service. Does your Macintosh suffer from insomnia? Well, Mac 84 will make your Mac go to sleep. Sorry, I just, I just really need to get my eyes close to this, otherwise uh, I won't be able to really do this correctly. What I might do, I might put this there, and this, well, let me swap that, this there, this there, yeah, there's already, more flux in there. This ain't gonna be fun, this one lousy little cap there. Just trying to do this as quickly as possible. Ouch, that is hot. Jeez. No, 
worries, Bruce. Thank you. I know you probably have some work to do. That's okay. Finally! Oh, gosh. Looks pretty bad. Ugh. Sorry, let me let me get this back where you can actually see something here. There we go. Ugh. That's what we were trying to get rid of there. Yuck, 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 yuck. Let me uh let me clean that up a little bit, because I'm It looks like ooh, one of the legs got uh, left behind there. We'll get we'll get a closer look. One second. Let's bring this closer. There's some scunge there, Bruce. It was waiting for you. And Bruce will never see the scunge. Yeah. So that. Ugh. And I, I did melt that plastic a little bit, or at least got some gunk in the corner there, but not not too bad. That's just it's uh the risk you take, I guess. But if uh, everything plugs in there, that should be okay. Putting a new one on there is not going to be fun. I can tell you that. Wait for this heat gun to turn down because I can't even hear myself talk. There we go. Yeah, so. Yeah, that. Oops, sorry, we're not centered here. I mean. That is. <laughs> that's the leg there. It left. It left some of it. Or hopefully it didn't raise up the pad. Well, either way, we'll have to deal with that another time. Um. We have uh, seven more capacitors to remove, and of course, this one is right next to the port there. Really? Really? Well, we could probably get off this one quite easily. I don't know how I'm going to do the rest of them, to be honest with you. I actually think Bruce did a video on either a Classic or a Classic 2 board. <laughs> I may go back and study those before I continue onward, but, ooh, yeah, that's, uh, does not look like, uh, an easy way to get in between these little plastic bits without damaging anything. I could hardly get my tools in there to put some flux in there. All right, well, let's try this little one first. What I will do is uh, put this little blade here to sort of block some of the heat to that plastic. And uh, I guess we could give that one a go. That hopefully won't be too problematic for us. There we go. All right, so that one's gone. Look 
too horrible, but this one's going to be the tricky one. I'm not too concerned about the battery holder, but I am concerned about the, the floppy uh, port there. That's more important. Definitely more important. Let's see if we have uh, so one there. That maybe a little more helpful. This is horrible. This is <laughs> horrible direction here. Uh, you know what? Let me let me see something. If I I could, this is just a stupid little PCI cover. I bet I could, I could bend that. Yeah, I could do that. There, you're not even seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So this capacitor is what what I'm trying to. So let me let me do something different here. Let me bend it. There we go. And so. It's just a, a crummy piece of metal. I don't care what happens to this. But essentially, I'm just trying to shield the plastic as much as I can. Make a straight bend here. Dang it, <laughs> so close. All right, I think that's probably the best I'm gonna do, but it doesn't give me much heat. Well, I guess that I'll have to do. Um, let's put... I'll use my tool to sort of move it around there. Hopefully, we'll be very quick with the rest of these, so the rest of you could go to bed, including me. Wouldn't that be nice? No, oh, that's not really going to help it, but what, what can we do? Oop, that did a little pop. Ah, poop. There's always so much magical smoke around here. All right, let's see what the damage is of that area, because that was not fun. Hopefully nothing else got moved around or melted that doesn't look too bad and uh, the plastic doesn't look too bad either so all right that was that was that was one of the ones I was concerned about So this is, these are going to be the, the, I don't know how I'm going to do these. These are going to be the problem. Oh boy. 
this is this is uh I mean <laughs> how am I gonna do this? Uh it's a fair bit of green on that chip too, those legs, you could see it. You could see these legs here. They all have all have some nice green on them. Yeah, let me let me uh, actually try and clean this this area off a bit because oof yeah let I haven't been doing that for most of these but this area especially is pretty caked on with that sponge huh Dana. You know what? I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get some of these off. I think that these are like the uh, sound chip amplifier type thingies. What is what is a LP? LP two? LP three? I, I I don't know if that's plastic or what, but I'm gonna have to get some heat onto it. So I hope it's not. <laughs> and I'm just laughing more because of them. So how about that? <laughs> uh, uh, now I'm I'm the one that's sad because I have to deal with this. Oh boy, just look look at that. That's that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, but um, yeah, especially right next to this port, the back of that port is plastic. I guess I could use my uh, my bendy metal bit here to. Uh, protect that somewhat maybe maybe how about that there yeah see that that's gonna let me see if I can find another bendy metal bit that I could sacrifice to the to the cause here Well, I do have, I do have some tin foil that I used previously. We will end up using it again. How about that? It's not the best, but it, you know, honestly, it, it it has helped me before, and it is perfect for these these very tight areas where it's very difficult to get anything there. Like you know, I could actually actually curve it around like that so it look it's not ideal but uh, working with what I got here so actually let me curve that more Let's sort of push that against there I think that'll be helpful and this one the, the one to the right of it I'm not too concerned about because we're not that close but Let's let's work on this big one first. All right, well, this is not going to be an easy one. I could tell already. Hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> uh. Just putting an extra, <laughs> as much metal I can get between the port and that. So, yeah. All righty, well. I guess uh, we'll give it the old try. 
Wait for our iron to heat up. All right, so we got the cap next to it. That'll help us get closer. So let me actually, it's gonna evaporate pretty quickly, but. That's a popper. Ah, that that got on my arm. Ah, I knew that was gonna be a problem. You stupid cap. Yeah, you got cap juice. Oh, it smells awful. That's the worst of the bunch. Look at that. Ugh. Oh boy. Hopefully nothing got too singed there. No, not really. We have to put that back because we have to get this little one off. But this one, this one should be much easier, I hope. Oh, that was a popper, though. Ugh. So you stick around, you, you see the good stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. For all 13 of you left, that's it. Uh, Let's try and get this little one in here. Got to reposition this. Hold on. Oh, where are we looking? Where are we looking? Are we upside down? Are we too far this way? Where? Where? So it's hard to tell. All right, that's our next capacitor there. Let's try and get this out pretty quickly, huh? Hopefully it's an easy one. No, 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 no. Come on, stay there. I can't just touch it because this is still retaining a ton of heat from before. I want to burn myself. I've done it before. And I'll do it again, but I'm trying to avoid tonight. Okay. All right. Oops, oh, sorry. I'll adjust that in a second. All right, so actually, let me adjust this so I can, I can get a better in there better with the uh, the heat gun because otherwise this is going to take way too long here oh this is going to be a fun one I can tell hopefully you'll just come quietly now
Oh, are you kidding me? Ha! You piece of junk. All right. Let's see how that looks there. These are going to be a pain to put back on. But at least we're getting the, the, them off. That's that's the important part here. All right, we have two left to go. Only two left, guys. We can hang in there. We can do it. We can do it. So again, next to a nice plastic piece. So for those of you who are just joining us, we are two capacitors away from removing all these nasty caps from this Macintosh Classic 2 logic board. Right, and you know, I think, I mean, I'm a little concerned about the plastic uh, there, so let me take this off and just put that there, just to be safe. Actually, uh, let's, we could do a bit of, uh, oh, it's still a little warm. Eh. All right, there we go. That's, that's a little bit better. I'm a little more comfortable with that. It seems as soon as I'm, I'm, uh, as I'm ready, our heat gun is, gets cooled down, which is fine. We'll heat it up again. Make sure that flux is actually touching the pad there, because that's really where we need it to touch. All right, let's try this one. just required a little persuasion that wasn't too bad persuasion All right, and where are we on here and there we go all right let's see if we get this one off just as easily Get out of there. <laughs> Off of my board. You horrible capacitor, you. So that is the last one. And looky at that horrible bunch. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Now, I actually just assumed that Bruce has a recapping guide for, <laughs> for this revision of this logic board. Let's hope so, because uh, I didn't take any pictures. I mean, well, I have these, I guess, my backups. <laughs> oh, boy, let's get some of these heat shields out of the way. And we're going to take a, a closer look at the board here, give it a little bit of cleaning, and then I think we'll be ending for the day. Uh, let's adjust this here. Okay, so first thing I want to do is clean these areas because, ooh, I look, it, there's a bad reflection here, so that's sort of what I'm seeing. But, uh, alright Dana, see you later. Yeah, we're just going to be here just for like five more minutes is what I'm going to guess. So, 
You gotta go, you gotta go, that's okay. I am just gonna do a little bit of scrubbing here. But thank you. Thank you, Dana. And anybody else who's been watching this entire time. Yeah, this these caps here, right next to this uh, this ADB port up here, that's going to be a pain to to put in. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to uh, ask the experts on that one. Oh, yeah, this is this is quite nasty. So I'm just I'm just going over the area where I've removed caps, and I'm just doing a, a quick quick brush. any of the garbage that was left behind just sort of trying to help move that out a little bit uh, let's see anywhere else I miss yeah right there that's that's <laughs> that's a good spot right there jeez hey classic Mac no worries and Dana ha <laughs> You know me way too well. No worries if you can't stop by every stream. That's okay. That's why I keep them up on YouTube. So they're recorded. You can watch them for however, however long as you'd like. But yeah, I think, you know what? That It looks much better than it did when we started. Uh, you know, they, these are... What I'm concerned about now is trying to, <laughs> trying to get the caps back on the board. And of course, all the, the scunge and the gunk and the horrible stuff that is likely hiding under these chips because yeah I mean even if I clean that up this up let's be honest there's probably gunk under that with how bad those caps were leaking that would be my guess I think I burned the tip of my my finger how about that I think I, think I burned the tip of my finger but not too bad just just a, got a little sensation there uh, just, just let's look at this this final thing before we go. This, let's just see how bad this is. Let's bring this all the way down. <laughs> How's my quarantine bunker? Have my Mac started talking yet? Not yet. Not yet. We're, we're still safe. Uh, they may start talking soon. Isn't that right, Mr. Mac Classic? Oh, that's right. See? Talked right back. All right. Let's... Oh, yeah. So... Let's look at uh, C3 here, which is, this is the one that, that, that splattered and got me on the arm there. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Doesn't that look lovely? Oof. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty bad. Ugh. Yeah, so. Yeah, so what, what we're going to do is, um... Yeah, I, I really don't know exactly how to proceed with this one because there's there's so much horrible gunk on this board. I mean, just look over here to the right of the battery. And we see there's you know, every, even those legs between those things and everything. And Oof, that's just nasty. Nobody likes that. But yeah, so you've been looking at the microscope way too long. And uh, let's do a transition here. So... That is um, our first attempt here. At least we, we got all the caps off the board, which is good. Um, yeah, it's very, very good. Um, Classic Mac says, we're almost halfway to 2,000 subscribers. You should do a special where you explode old Mac caps. <laughs> well, I don't do that intentionally. Maybe I'll just do a, <laughs> well, I'll do a, a, a best hits reel. <laughs> and I'll go back to some of my videos and, and edit some clips together. Because sometimes they just pop, sometimes they don't. But uh, this, we had a few poppers here. Uh, one got me pretty good. Uh, the rest were okay. Uh, they weren't too bad. Usually the bigger ones pop. The little tiny ones usually don't. But yeah, so this, this board is looking a little bit better. Uh, this still is filthy. It needs a very heavy cleaning. Uh, so we're going to get to that. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, uh, finally uh, build an agitator or something to help scrub these. But uh, I think that's, that's going to do it here. Um, don't have too much to 
to, to go on talking about, so I'm just rambling at this point, but I do appreciate everybody joining me. Oh, their camera was sort of face down. I do appreciate everybody joining me tonight. It was, uh, or this morning, wherever you are. And uh, my, my hands are full of flux and ugh, disgusting goodness, but uh, we'll have to wash those carefully. But um, yeah, so uh, hopefully when we clean this up and we put some new caps on it, maybe we have to do some trace repair. I hope not, but who knows. Um, we'll get it working. Because uh, I would like a working classic too. That'd be fun. But uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So uh, thank you to everybody who likes and who subscribes to my channel. Uh, thank you to my patrons who support me. Uh, tiers are only starting at a dollar and a uh, dollar a month. And you get some goodies, behind the scenes details. Uh, you get exclusive videos that aren't posted publicly, stuff like that. So uh, if you do want to support the channel, that is a great way to do so. And you get something in return for it. Um, and... Uh, are you going to stream on the 12th? It's my birthday. Well, I have a relative who also has a birthday on the 12th. So I might be, actually be at a party. But we'll see. How about that? <laughs> keep, keep posted. Uh, I'll keep you posted if you check my Twitter. Mac84TV is my handle. Uh, same with Instagram. I usually post on Twitter when I'm streaming. Um, and Jay just posted a link to my Patreon. How about that? So if you want to be a Patreon. Uh, uh, I mixed up Patreon and Patreon. See? It's getting late. Jay linked a, a link to my uh, Patreon there. If you want to be a patron. That's how you do it. You just click on that. And the Twitter's right there, too. So, thank you, Jay. You are most helpful this afternoon, evening, whatever, whatever hour it is. <laughs> Very helpful. But I'm going to deliriously hit the uh, end stream button here. But I thank you all for watching. And uh, you guys take care. And have a good night, good morning, wherever you are.